Hello, everyone. Welcome. We're happy to have so many people joining us today for our session on From American Studies to Zoology, How News and News Bank's Rich Content Can Support Your Faculty and Students. We are at the top of the hour, so let's get started. My name is Katherine Bergerson, and I am the Vice President of Marketing at News Bank. I'll also be joined today by two of my colleagues from our customer support team, Laurel Roars and Deborah Scott. Right now is the perfect time to take a look at how you're leveraging news bank resources in today's digital world as we know. Digital resources and access to those resources have never been more important. So right now is a perfect time to take a look at how you're utilizing them, whether it's in person or in the library or remotely. As we get started, I just wanted to let you know that our session is being recorded. We'll send out a copy of the presentation in the next 24 hours. Also, all of our contact information, the resources, and the slides that we share with you today are available in the handout section. You'll see the gray bar. You can download those at any time. So on our agenda today, it is our goal in the next 30 to 45 minutes to share with you how Access World News Research Collection and historical newspaper archives can meet your institution's diverse research needs. We'll preview our Marketing Resource Center and share with you some video tutorials, social media ideas, and LMS integrations and discovery services. And we'll share best practices to help you connect with faculty and students across your university and college. We have time for questions and answers throughout the presentation, so please feel free to submit them in the question box at any time, and we will do our best to get to all of them. So again, if you see that the gray bar marked questions, just type it in there, and we'll pause throughout the presentation and get to as many questions as we can. To kick things off, I'd like to share just a brief background on NewsBank. We are a leading news and information provider to research institutions and libraries, and I'm proud to share with you that this year we are celebrating our 50th anniversary. We aggregate content from around the world to bring you, your faculty and students, credible, vetted global news sources, many of which are unique to NewsBank, and all are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now, let's take a walk through Access World News Research Collection. I'd like to turn it over to my colleague, Deborah Scott. Welcome, Deborah. Hi, Catherine. Thank you, everyone, uh, and welcome. Um, so, when you're considering a collection of news sources, what do you think users are searching? We've reviewed our usage analytics across all academic institutions, and here's a snapshot of what we found. Students and faculty are looking for information to support a wide array of curricular areas, including social issues to support English and social studies assignments, business and entrepreneurship for the latest news and trends from around the world and in your own local community, political science classes with daily coverage of elections, as well as historical perspective on issues, international studies, environmental issues, and more, much, much more. As you can see, news can be used in numerous ways to support students, faculty, and staff members cross curricular information needs. So let's get started and I'll show you around Access World News. Um, I'm gonna give you a quick overview of Access World News and for those, those of you with America's News, much of the information is also similar and relevant. Access World News is a comprehensive collection of more than 12,000 sources from more than 200 countries. This vast collection supports research with information on just about any topic. Source list is up here, and we start with a simple single search box front and center. For those um, users who want to conduct a more complex, refined search, we provide advanced search options um, through our more search options link. So I'm going to start with a current topic climate change and flooding. This results screen shows researchers and allows research, shows researchers their results and allows them to quickly determine if they want to keep reading these articles with these little thumbnails here. The search limiters are on the left where we can focus our search by date and see how it, terms are used over time. 
we can uh, limit by source type from audio and video transcripts, college and university newspapers, um, journals, magazines. We can limit by language. There are more than 10 languages in this collection, um, with English, French, and Spanish being the most popular. I'm going to go over here to narrow my search by location. And my location options go all the way from continent down to a city where a user can compare reporting styles or compare issues on this from a small city to a large city. Um, I am going to select the continents of Australia and North America. Australia had large bushfires a couple of years ago and flooding is affecting parts of North America. So that brought my results down to almost 200,000. Um, and I can see from my results list, I have articles from tomorrow from Australia. Here's some articles from New Zealand. I have a broadcast transcript from today from KHOU in Houston. And an article here from the Detroit News from also from today. So I'll take a look at this one and show you around a text article. All our navigation for all our articles are right here on top where you can adjust the text size, citation information to export or copy and paste, whatever format one needs. We can email, print, download this article. We can save it to a folder. And up here, we can create a personal folder with just an email address and a password. And that's handy to save articles, save searches to come back to. Every article has a permalink here that can be copied to a course page or an assignment. And this button allows us to share this information to Google uh, Classroom. Here is your bibliographic information. All our text articles have a read news document feature, which is really helpful for English language learners and those who learn better by hearing information. So that's the basics of a text article. And also you could see our keywords are highlighted in yellow. You might notice from our results list that some of these articles previews look a little different. These are here are image articles. Some of our publishers also send an image feed of their um, of their title. And as you can see, this is a PDF of today's paper from the Australian. All of our navigation is still the same with the addition of a clipping feature. So if I just want part of this article or I want this photo, perhaps I can do this and I can download this photo. And every time we download or print or save an article, we also prompt this researcher to don't forget the citation information. Um, and then this will download the article. So I'm going to go back to our home page and, my, um, and talk about some other options within Access World News. Um, while some users may not think of news as a place to go for information on science, health conditions, technology, or the environment, what we've learned from our users is that they often find the latest trends, treatments, or statistics on topics that might be so new that they haven't made it into scientific or medical journals yet. Many articles in the news tend to be written in layman's terms, so it's easier for many researchers to get up to speed before they jump into peer-reviewed journals. This makes news articles a great complement to other resources available through the library. And that's how we created suggested topics. The topics here are the most searched topics by students and faculty of America's News and Access World News. We've worked with our editorial team to craft custom searches so a researcher can find articles on their topic in just two clicks. I'm going to try my climate change search again. So I'm going to click on environment studies uh, and, and climate change. And here is a great example of the advanced, the type of advanced search that our editors put together. The search is editable 
and the researcher can uh, use the limiters on the left to further refine their search. So that in two clicks, they get relevant articles. Um, we've also heard from faculty and librarians that these editorially crafted searches provided are a great way for them to teach students how to conduct a more complex search and improve their information literacy skills. Another use for Access World News and America's News is for current events. And one strength of this resource is the number of sources from around the world in Access World News. Clicking on the map search allows me to pinpoint parts of the world that I'd like to explore. I'm interested in current information on the conflict between Russia and Ukraine from sources closer to the action. So I'll use my keywords, Ukraine and Russia, and then select Europe and Asia um, as my sources, source locations. This brings me several articles, 700,000 articles to be exact, um, from 1980 to the present. So this could give some historical background, uh, but also from here, I can go back to my source locations and drill down further to just news articles from Russia and Ukraine <laughs> to get a really good comparison of reporting styles. These, source, these um, articles will be in English and in some cases translated into English as we're not able to build to support all non-Roman alphabets. And you can see here we have articles from today, from Russia, 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 and Ukraine is in here somewhere. Oh, I might not, and here's another, here's a post from Ukraine. Finally, I'll go back to the homepage. You'll notice the blue quick links on the right side of the homepage. We can customize these for your institution with geographic regions, states, or specific titles to make it easier for researchers to find information or even browse the daily newspaper. I'm going to select the San Francisco Chronicle collection. This collection happens to include the historical archives providing total coverage from 1865 to the present. Please keep in mind that if your institution does not have the historical archives for a particular title, you still have historical coverage in Access World News, as some sources go back to the 1980s. This gives researchers 40 years of information where they can easily compare current events to historical, such as impeachment trials, race relations, or even fashion trends that are coming back. This publisher sends us four formats of their title, historic archives, text, image, and web edition content. The web edition content is important because most publishers now have a way for readers to access content from their phones or computers. Some of the articles found online can be longer than the same article in the print edition or may even have articles that didn't make it to the print edition due to space constraints. With this collection, you can be sure to have all the content provided by this publisher. I will search immigration, just immigration. This search will bring us over 100,000 articles that, that contain the term immigration over the past 160 years. The current view is newest. I can click here to look at the oldest first to take a look at some of our historical content. Um, all, most all of our historic content is in an image format where we've scanned these old publications. So all of the image navigation up at the top will work. And you can see that our terms are highlighted. Um, let me go back to the results. I can further refine my search to um, add a keyword or search by date. And one interesting thing to do is to look at a specific date in history. So I'm going to look at articles just from 100 years ago that contain my term immigration. So a great way to compare the past and the present. There are so many ways to use Access World News and America's News, but in the interest of time, I will turn it back over to Catherine. Thanks, Deb. 
Um, this is a, a great opportunity to submit your questions. Um, let's pause here and uh, see if we have any questions about um, Access World News Research Collection. I'll give you just a moment to enter them, but I do see uh, we have two coming in. How often are um, our articles updated? Um, articles are updated daily. Um, we get a feed from publishers daily. Um, items like hot topics are updated monthly. Special reports are updated daily. Um, and our suggested topics um, are adjusted periodically. And we also take suggestions from our customers uh, for items that might be of interest to them. Well, that's a, a perfect segue into um, another question that we have, which is if there's a topic that I don't see, how how do I get information or how do I request that? Oh, that's um, easy. Just reach out to your uh, news bank representative or you can go up to the share feedback button at the top of the screen um, and the email will be sent to the appropriate person. Uh, where we'll reach out and get some more information on the topic or your question. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. And please continue the, the questions coming in. We will pause again in a, in a few moments. But for now, we're going to move on. And I'd like to introduce Laurel Roars. She's NewsBank's Customer Engagement Manager. And today, she's going to give us some tips and tools to support the research needs of your institution and share some examples of how other universities and college libraries are using NewsBank resources. Hi, Laurel. Hi, Catherine, and thank you. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us today. As we reach out and engage students and faculty who may be attending on campus or online to support their research needs. Today, we're going to share some ideas on how we help our libraries get the most value out of their NewsBank resources. As part of the customer engagement team, both Deb and I have assisted university and college libraries across the country and around the world with ways to promote resources for students and faculty on both your websites and through social media. So you might ask, how do we go about this? Let's get started by going to our Academic Resource Center. You may easily go to NewsBank's website at www.newsbank.com and select the university and college drop-down, or you'll go to our Marketing and Resource Center for Universities and Colleges. Here, you may click either on our Getting Started Guide you see at the top, or you may download and print out our best practices for setting up your resources, or you can go directly to the resources your library subscribes to, which you see in the icons below, such as Access World News, America's News, or perhaps one of our newest collections. Black Life in America or Hispanic Life in America. Or you may be looking for ways to promote your historical archives or integrated collections with multiple formats, such as the San Francisco Chronicle we looked at a bit earlier. Now let's click right on Access World News, where our first step is to create visibility on your library's website to help build awareness of NewsBank's resources for your students and faculty. We've heard from many librarians that providing easy to reach, remote access to databases 24 seven is more important now than ever, whether students are attending classes in person or online. Here we have descriptions available for you to post on your library's homepage as a featured database. You can post these in your A to Z database list, highlight in new databases and in LibGuides. You may have created such as business, for students looking for help with careers or companies, environmental studies for students researching climate change, or one of our newest suggested topic categories covering diversity, equity, and inclusion. Our customer service team sends out links and descriptions you may post for your databases to help you get started, or perhaps you are in the midst of updating your LibGuides and would like some additional support. We are here to help support your research needs. So let's take a look at how to leverage our tools to build awareness and increase usage of America's News or your Access World News databases. Share our materials with students through your social media outlets, during new student orientations, with subject librarians and faculty via email, at faculty meetings, or any other ways you may currently use to highlight new and featured databases, 
such as a blog page or a newsletter that may be sent out to faculty members. Some universities promote resources via social media, including Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and we encourage you to use and share our already prepared posts. Here you can see how easy it is to receive these monthly in your inbox. Simply fill in your name, your email address, and you'll begin receiving these on a monthly basis. NewsBank also provides a series of short tutorials on how to use your resources, such as America's News, Access World News, suggested topics, perhaps creating alerts on a topic, or any others for self-paced training. And these may be embedded right on your website for easy access by students wanting to know more. You may also go to our on-demand webinar section that you see at the top in the next few days where today's academic webinar will also be available. In addition, our section on discovery services provides easy to follow implementation guides and short videos that we'll bring up in just a moment to help you integrate America's News and Access World News. Here you can see we integrate with both EBSCO Discovery Service and Primo Primo VE. Our customer engagement and customer service teams are here to help you navigate this process and get the most usage out of your NewsBank resources. In addition, Access World News can also integrate with your learning management systems, such as Blackboard and Canvas. Our integrations feature single sign-on, allowing faculty to easily add articles, sources, and databases to your courses, modules, and assignments. We have heard from librarians how important it is to place resources in multiple areas, and we can schedule an appointment to help you get started. Next, we'd like to give a big thank you to all of our colleges, just like yours that we've consulted with, who are featuring resources right on their websites for great visibility, including the University of Texas Medical School, where they're showcasing America's News right on their homepage slides, to help that stand out is a new resource for students. Also, here is a sample from Delta Community College in Michigan, where they presented materials for students regarding Black History Month in February, including NewsBank's Black Life in America, covering history from the 1700s to today, promoting where to find valuable resources for their diversity and equity studies. Next, Georgia State University created a blog announcing the university is offering online access to their new database from NewsBank for historical research, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution Archive, with coverage back to 1883. And now, tying in the past to the present, NewsBank also partners with you on how to promote resources on your Twitter feeds, Instagram, and Facebook pages. Let's take a look at a social media post our marketing team has created to help you alert students on where to find diverse viewpoints on one of the most highly searched current topics we looked at a bit earlier in academic libraries today, covering the Russian Ukraine, Ukraine crisis. And we encourage you to copy and paste this post right on your social media outlets for the most up-to-date news from sources around the globe for your students. Also, May is Asian Pacific Heritage Month. To promote diversity and help students learn more about Asian Pacific heritage, feel free to share this already prepared social media post on your social media feeds during the next few days. And on a lighter note, May 5th is Cinco de Mayo. Share our colorful post students, uh, for students looking for fun and creative ways to celebrate this upcoming holiday and learn a history lesson or two along the way. Also, by clicking on the social, on the monthly social media posts links, this will allow you to add your name once again to our monthly mailing list for new social media posts that will arrive each month in your inbox. We hope this gives you all some useful tips and tools you can put into practice right away. We are here to support the library's training and promotion efforts as you continue to provide such a vital role supporting both students and faculty. Our customer engagement team is here to provide training for faculty and staff, assist your subject liaisons with recommendations for LibGuides, and to help you navigate the integration 
of Access World News in your Discovery Services in Learning Management Systems to place your resources right where your students are researching assignments. And now back to you, Catherine, for any incoming questions. Wonderful, thank you, Laurel. Um, yes, let's pause again. And if you have any questions, please do type them into that, that question box. One question um, related to social media posts, do those require a login or how does that, that access work? You're able to access these. Um, first of all, if you want to sign up for them, uh, you can do that right from the monthly social media posts that we send out. And we'll also have those included in links below. And you do not need to log in um, any special login for those. That would just go right through um, a student login if they wanted to see those or through your login. Thank you. Well, to build on what Laurel and Deb's comments today, I just wanted to share with you that today's presentation is one step in our commitment to working with you. We have so many ways to continue our partnership with you and really maximize your news bank resources or help you get started with, with a demo account of your own. We invite you, Laurel mentioned, um, uh, personalized complimentary in-service training for your colleagues or faculty. We'll happily schedule a time for you for that. And if you experience any technical issues or have questions, our customer service team is here and ready to assist. So we have these resources you can see on your screen um, for you to start using right away. If you download the presentation, the links are right here in the presentation. So you don't have to uh, go searching around to look for those links. We'll take you right, right to uh, the social media pages, the video pages. So please download that and feel free to share with your larger uh, campus community. Also, the examples of social media posts that Laurel shared, we have those along with more that you can use in the month of May or many are a bit you can are evergreen and you can use them anytime. They're also in that handout section for you to download. If you have any trouble accessing them, just send me an email and I'll be happy to send it on over to you. So we're so again, grateful. We're staying within the, the 30 to 45 minutes of your time. And we're so happy that uh, you were able to join us today for our session and that you feel like you have some real actionable ways that you can connect with faculty and students right away. As you log out, you'll see a brief three question survey. Please take a moment to let us know how we're doing and how we can improve in the future. On behalf of the News Bank team, again, thank you for spending part of your day with us and we look forward to continuing our partnerships. Goodbye.